So now we want to know what could have happened. Well, as far back as we know and all the historical books and the religious books, they claim that the herbs are for the healing of the nation. That's what they say. But if this is so, that the herbs are for the healing of the nation, why is it that my brother, who was a Christian preacher for 30 years, when he got sick, he went to the doctor to get an injection? What was happening in his brain that compelled him to turn his back on God Almighty that he worshipped? To go to a doctor? What could have happened to my brother? When my mother called me and said, hey, you have to go see your brother. I said, mom, this man is a preacher. This is the position you wanted me to occupy. You asked me to be the preacher. I tell you, no, I want to be something better than that. She said, what? I said, I do. <laughs> my brother, he jumped the gun, he said, I'm going to be the preacher. But he was cruel. He was very cruel. He used to beat his children really bad. One of his child ran away young. And he became the preacher, preaching to people of the, the gospel. But yet, when he got sick, he went to a doctor and he died 21 years ago. I, who he said was the sinner, that was okay with me. But of course, <laughs> call me sinner, and I think I like that. <laughs> but why am I the one that is carrying out the mandate that we should have carried out? Well, because I didn't go to school. I became an engineer. They wanted to know how do you become an engineer not going to school. I said I was easy. On the job training. <laughs> So now that we know that the pH scale shows that anything above seven is alkali, right? So you put acid over here, alkali over here, alkalinity represents electricity. The body is electrical. You cannot heal anyone unless you raise the resonance in the body. To vibrate, to fight the disease, you want energy, you want strength. Chemical doesn't bring energy or strength. That can only be obtained from a plant that is natural. But since in our world they give us peppermint over here. Heaven. They give us comfort. They give us aloe vera. These are plants. Right? They are plants. Well, what, what's the difference with these plants and this one? Is the difference with these plants and this? These are alkali. But in the state of alkalinity, something else occurs with a natural plant. A natural plant sends its root into the ground. This is the root of the plant. This is the soil. A natural plant sends its root sometimes five, six, seven inches of feet, sometimes 200 feet in the ground. And as they send the root into the soil, the natural plant, being that it is electrical, 
it converts the mineral from the soil from a solid state to a liquid digestible substance. Scientists call that, according to Edward Schultz, iantroperosis. Iantroperosis? Boy, what a word. <laughs> Iantroporosis. Iantroporosis is the conversion action from a natural plant to it, from the soil to it. But an artificial plant like carrots, I'll put, put carrots over here. Carrot or any one of these plants. They do not send their root into the ground four and five feet, two inches only. Why? Because they cannot convert the minerals from the soil into their body and electrify you because they are made in a laboratory. You know, it's like a paper bag that is made of paper and you throw it on the ground, it rains the sun, it rains the sun, it recycles again. But if you throw plastic, it stays there for a million years because it's made of starch. Nature doesn't receive what it didn't make. Nature only receives into her bowels that which she made. So now we begin, we should begin to ask the question. If we were not eating from this side, what state are we in? Mm -hmm. 